If the methane pledge actually delivers on a, let's say, a 60% reduction from methane from fossil fuel production, coal, oil, gas, then over the next decade or two, it could, uh, along with other factors, reduce warming by about 0.1 degree. So it would be a, a, a significant but not a fundamental contribution to meeting the 1.5 degree limit in the Paris Agreement. But the point is that we won't meet that limit unless we also reduce carbon dioxide at the same time from fossil fuels. Get the warming reduced enough to stay just on one and a half. Primer, when, when it comes out, it's huge. It does. By um, burning methane, rather than emitting it to the atmosphere, you reduce the warming effect of the methane really significantly, but you still add carbon dioxide to the atmosphere, which hangs around for thousands of years. So you get a short-term short benefit for a long-term loss unless you get rid of the carbon altogether. In other words, you don't, um, you don't burn it in the first place, you don't emit it in the first place, and then you get the long-term be benefit. Okay, but this will not have much. The big risk with this announcement on the pledges on methane from fossil fuel production is that it becomes a smokescreen for continuing to produce fossil fuel. So a lot of the producers that are signing on to the oil and gas pledge are actually planning or actually doing increased production of oil and gas and in some cases coal. 